hello, hello. Mic check, one, two, one, two. Two legit city on the mic. Yo, what's going on, everybody? How y'all doing today? It's your boy, me, two legit city, and we here live. We're going to be playing some Oxygen Not Included today. And, of course, how was everyone in chat today? Hope you guys are doing well. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hope everyone's having a nice start to the day, night start to the week. And hope everyone's doing all right. And if you guys did it, know today we're going to be checking out a new mod. That mod is going to be called the Bator mod. This mod is going to be a little bit different as it unlocks a new planet cluster with insane world gen properties. Uh, basically, the world gen, if we consider the base game, the world gen and the world gen sets, that's at a 5. 5 out of 10, right? Average world gen. Uh, sometimes you might get some really crazy world gens, like how in the old school Oxygen Unincluded game, there was a Badlands map where you had only one cool steam vent as a water source. So there's some interesting world gen combinations out there. On average, though, it's around a 5. This mod, Bator, takes the world gen and pushes it to 11. It introduces a lot of new world gen properties and it's only unique to the map so we can't use that to influence the predetermined clusters already. That being said though that is going to be our playthrough today. So of course spaced out start and here it is. The Baytor look at that crying pips dude. All the babies dead oh my god. Dude, this, this image, dude, it's wild. All right, so this is the uh, Bator planet. The starting moonlit has nothing. There is no nearby asteroids. Everything is distant. Fun times. All right, first things first, everything's going to be default. We're going to have care packages and teleporters. Teleporters are probably going to be interesting on this one because I am not sure how they're going to work if we have only distant asteroids. I wonder if that also means that the uh, star map is a little bit on the large side. That'd be kind of cool. Afternoon, what's going on, Ghost Rider? Hope you're doing well. Hello, hello. And so, with this playthrough, of course, we could uh, roll this a couple times. It doesn't modify the starting planet, more so the other asteroids, potentially. Yeah, we finished Super Classic. We found a tear on our sixth rocket that went to the edge out of nine. So six out of nine is not bad. It, it's kind of bad luck. <laughs> six out of nine. So there was one temporal tear out of the nine locations on the edge. We found it on the sixth rocket. Funny thing was, was that we built all nine rockets. The sixth one was just the... The one that, uh, by the time they got to the point of interest. So some of the drives would have, I mean, they should have all been the same. And I had enough steel for the monument. I had two tons more. I had around two to five tons more steel than I needed. And I only took 280 cycles. 282. Corny, what's good? I see you over there. Hope you're doing well. But yeah. Turns out, if you ranch Paku, you get a lot of eggshells. <laughs> and it's actually enough. Nice, nice. Alright, so, we are going to roll a d20 die. And we're going to hit this button that many times. Just to make this, uh, you know, somewhat random. We roll an 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and number 8. Geodes on the Irradiated Forest. Irradiated, irradiated. Crash satellites on the radioactive swamp. Crash satellites on the marshy asteroid, classic. We get the all three story traits. Everything is good. Everything here is good. All right, so let me copy and paste this so this could be the seed. So I got a do some commands on the night bot. Give me a sec, you guys. Uh... 
This is a custom command. Seed. Starts with the letter S. E E. Here we go. And we should be good. So, C. Nice. And the link to the mod. Nice. Oh, man. So, here's the thing. This mod... I've never played it before. I've only heard about it. I've seen some screenshots of some of the potential debates in this game, or this mod, but for the most part, it's it's going to be a new experience. I don't know how tough it's going to be, so we're going to be playing on normal difficulties. And the goal for this playthrough is probably just going to be the printing pod objectives, but the uh, world gen is going to make this an interesting playthrough. So let's get it started. Rad sickness for everyone. Nah, man, no one gets sick. Mind if you give us a heads up on Bator? So the Bator mod, it is a mod that unlocks a new uh, planetoid cluster. So you know how you have the Terra cluster, Rhyme cluster, and things like that? Uh, you get a new cluster called the Bator cluster. The Bator cluster is basically a unique set of world gen rules that makes the world very different. So we're going to have a lot of resources that are not normally there be available. A lot of gases that are going to be there that are not supposed to be there. So things like spawning with tiles of diggable lime around you. Uh, having your printing pond entombed. Uh, having already refined metals everywhere. Uh, have sour gas in pockets. Things like that. So basically, it's going to break a lot of your normal common sense generation. So things like going into a biome and learning about it, it's going to be basically playing a new game. Because when you're experienced, one of the things that you have to your advantage is you know the composition of the biomes. You know that when you get rust, it's going to be in a cold biome with ethanol, salt, dash of salt vines, get occasional puffs, and then uh, chlorine, CO2, right? Go to a jungle biome, you get Dracos, Bomb Lily, Pinch of Pepper Plants, Phosphorite, Igneous, Iron, and uh, H2 and Chlorine, right? So since we know the clusters, it becomes easier for us since we know, you know, what to expect. So with the Bader mod, this is, uh, everything's going to be new. Napolini's, ha 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 ha. You about to have fun, Napolini's. I see you over there, man. Is it really going to be that bad? All right, first things first, we got DGSM to work. And how we got this to work is kind of stupid. The mod's broken unless it's the first mod that loads in. So if you have issues with the mod DGSM, move it to the top of the load order and it should be fine. So that's, that's actually what happened to me. The load order was uh, bopping me. All right, I want to get a, I want to get one of the new dupes with triple interest. And potentially a stinky. I'm gonna roll. I need to get the mod that allows you to roll your uh, sprite and nothing else. <laughs> hey, we got pay. Stinky. And let me get. I will take a Frankie too. Quinn? No, it's only two. Hey, Napolini's coming in with the five months. Thanks so much for the five months, Napolini's. I see you over there. Rasa Jamon coming in with the daily smiles. Can we get some smiles in chat? Can we get some happy emotes? Something along the lines of that, man. Anything you guys got? Global emotes? Personal emotes? My emotes? Yo, man. Can we get some good vibes in chat, man, to get it started? Rasa Jamon, thank you so much for the daily smiles. Hope you're doing all right, man. Noxian Strength, what's good? I see you over there. Hope you're doing well. Exploding Napolini's this guy. Had a single top blow up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you I, I've heard about that being a thing. Like there's there's a lot of traps like that. There's a lot of traps like that. Okay, we'll take the set. Alright, so we just want the sprites and the triple interest, and we're gonna modify everything right now. So first person, of course, it's gonna be our science. 
research rocketry and then let me give him suit wearing really good set let's not give him anything op so grease monkey i probably don't want that doesn't help us out let's get him some like iron gut so it's not actually gonna be that bad <laughs> while not being that good blarp blarp what's good i see you over there but i'm excited yeah first time it's gonna be a first time we'll, we'll see what we have in store let's see what's a good negative trait oh i'll take a uh, unpracticed artist get that decor morale wait a second yo cthulhu I just realized you could get unpracticed artists and easily get over a hundred morale. <laughs> this gives you plus five for the trait. I didn't realize that. But yeah, you could technically get this. I didn't know. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> You're already at 90. You get to you easily get to 100. I'm just saying, man. You got to get the right dupe and then you stack on starry eyed. <laughs> you get to 110. Uh, these two don't really matter. We'll just leave it stock. So we'll take Unpracticed Artist, Iron Gut. So that's negative trait, yeah. And then the positive trait could be Starry Eyed. Oh, there's Uncultured. <laughs> Dude, wait, hold up. Cthulhu, look at this. Uncultured. Increase that core morale plus 20. Increase that core morale plus 5. Plus 25. Is this real? Is this real? Are you, on, are you lying? Welcome on in. Thank you for the follow. Oh, the dupe editor at the beginning. Yes, Lumbo. I found out how to get it to work. The mod has to be the first uh, mod to be loaded in. Has to be the first mod that's loaded in. That's like 140. <laughs> I know, right? That's pretty wild. I haven't tested it though to see if it actually like works the way we think it does. But it makes sense. It makes sense. That core is not the same as morale though. So this innately stylish is not that great. What's going on, Kit? I see you over there. Lumbo, hope you're doing well. Hello, hello everyone. Hope y'all are doing great today. Alright, so I want to go back to... Oh, here we go. Starry Eye. 10 morale in space. That's not bad. This is a flat 10 morale. You got to get the dupes with two positive traits and then one negative, dude. Get to 150. <laughs> so the Bader mod, it basically cranks up uh, your world gen to 11. So it introduces a new cluster called the Bator cluster. And that cluster has insane world gen properties. They basically, the mod maker made his own uh, biomes. And now they're part of the game. Those biomes are actually kind of crazy. Oh no. Alright, we're just going to take Caregiver. Hope you're ready to dig your printing pot out. Yeah, it's entombed from the beginning, I believe. Alright, Stinky. We have a researcher. Stinky is going to be the guy that... Do you use exploits? Uh... Depends what you would you say is an exploit. There's people that claim Liquid Lock is an exploit. So when you say exploits, it doesn't really mean much because it depends on the person. I don't think Liquid Lock is an exploit, but after posting a YouTube video about it, some people say it is. So it really depends on you. <laughs> I, I like I might do something. Oh, that's an exploit. What? That's just pliers. Wait, no, they yeah, asked an exploit. That's a liquid lock. <laughs> so I don't know, man. Oh, you're using the liquid duplicator? Yeah. The liquid duplicator is a little bit strong. I, I don't personally do that because I, I don't like actually creating something out of nothing. Something like infinite gas pressure, infinite liquid pressure, I don't mind doing because it doesn't inherently uh, create a new substance like that. Like uh, the printing pot, not printing pot, the uh, flower pot uh, pit planning exploit, I don't do that either. And I don't use the liquid duplicators. Alinda, uh, what's good? I see you over there. I hope you're doing all right. All right, so we need a mechatronics guy, right? So supply, operating, and build. 
Nice. All right, mechatronics. Uh, we will give them something that's not that great. Let's give them green thumb for no reason. It's, yeah, it's 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 a it's a strong it's a strong uh, duplicator. It, it's existed since the base game though. That's the crazy thing. A lot of people just didn't know about it. I've seen it long, long time ago because Myrene gave it to me. She gave me a video of her showcasing it. Now like, that's too strong. I don't want to do that in any of my playthroughs. <laughs> it's literally the oil dupe glitch with the overflow of the extra liquid getting pumped out so it just indefinitely creates new liquid and links coming in with the prime thank you so much holy heck welcome to the city hope you enjoy your stay but thank you for using the prime doing good just trying to figure out how to power my spawn without frying wires just build the fat wires dude thug life if you guys hear a kitty cat it's my kitty cat mamba he wants my attention he wants me to keep him safe, but he's alright. He's alright. He's alright. He's gonna nap soon. He got his sunlight today. Uh, negative trait. What should I give him? Irritable bowels? Sure. I don't want two vomiters. I'll get this guy crying. I don't want a two balloon artists. This guy could be a streaker. How does duplicator work? I noticed the contents of infinite sorges duplicating themselves somehow when I stopped. I wonder if the same or bug related. Uh, the infinite storage duplicator only happens if you're lagging and using the door infinite storage. Where you use doors to pressurize the liquid. There's a glitch where when you're lagging, it creates the liquid on both the top and bottom half of the door. So you literally just duplicate the uh, liquid that you're trying to store. So that one's a little bit different. The one uh, that Lumbo is probably alluding to requires the Escher form. I'll, I wave using three thick walls. What do you mean wave then? I'm not using doors. I was using three thick walls. I wave, wave. What's wave? How, how did you get it to infinite pressure though? Is I guess the question. How are you getting the infinite, like which infinite storage design are you using? But yeah, the one Lumbo is talking about, I think is the one that utilizes the Escher waterfall to push the liquid upwards. It's a little bit weird. But yeah, let's get the dupes in first. Uh, then we have, this guy's pro. Oh, you're using a different duplicator Lumbo? Okay. I'll post the pic, post it in Discord. But yeah, the uh, those those duplicators they've ex uh, existed. I just don't like using those. Literally creating extra resources out of thin air. I don't want to do that. All right, so we need someone to dig, of course. Oh, I just missed it. Oh, I just missed it again. There we go. Tidying and. I mean, I don't think I want them to ranch, but it would make a lot of sense that they would ranch. You make it L shape, put the liquid on the top, tiny pocket of gas. Oh, that's the normal one. So you're using a top base. To be fair, I had thousands of tons of liquid per tile in those infinite storages. Maybe it's something that happened at extreme pressure. It, it's probably a lag thing, to be honest. Most things that happen really weird in this game happens because you left the game running for a while, uh, upwards of four hours and up. And then uh, if you're also on a high cycle count, because on the laggy games, you could get a lot of really weird interactions that are not supposed to be uh, happening. Oh, if you, le if you leave the game running a lot, it's guaranteed to happen. There was someone in my chat that had their uh, submerged bomb not work properly and when I asked them about it they were like oh yeah man I've been having this I've seen your design work but then when I try to do a mind game it doesn't work I'm like oh wow let me see I'm like dude everything looks right uh have you tried uh exiting the game and loading back in and tried it out and he did that and it worked I was like what he's like oh yeah I left my game on overnight <laughs> I was like what yeah that's gonna cause problems he's like really he's like yeah 
And then he, he didn't know that the memory leak issue in this game is very problematic. I've had liquid locks where CO2 pushes down on the liquid from one side and it pushes up on the other. And that's never supposed to happen on a full tea of water. You know what I'm saying? Like, like there's a lot of weird interactions that happen. And then that only happens though on a very laggy or, you know, you leave the game running for a long time. All right, I want a rancher. I think though the rancher has to be the new dupe. I don't want my rancher be to be the guy that digs. That's going to be problematic. Uh, have him do the cooking. I don't want him to do that either. I want him to have suit wearing. This is the ideal set, I think. I will grab something that's not too positive. I don't want something I already have either. Uh, I don't want him to have skills. Skills are too strong. Twinkle Toes is a little too strong. Oh, this guy can be buff, and he's a uh, tidier. That's good. Bottom of stomach really sucks. I don't want that. I will give him um, allergies. And then uh, let's have him be the binge eater. That's fine. This guy is going to be a yodeler. That's fine as well. But yeah, that, that's the thing, man. The game, uh, <laughs> when the game lags, dude, you get a lot of weird interaction. Sometimes it benefits you, sometimes it just screws you over. Okay, and then this is going to be the Bator Mamba. All right, boys. Wish me luck. It's time to get in. So, guys, the Bator mod is wild. First things first, our printing pots and tombs. Let's pause. Let's check out the world gen map. All right, temperature 20 degrees. We have a hot aluminum node. We have liquid phosphorus right here at 80 degrees for no reason. This is going to solidify. We have a hot mud setup right here. We have cool salt slush next to some pokey shells. What in the world's going on already, man? This is minus 5, minus 20. Salt water is about to freeze. And then over here, we have a weird organic biome. Polluted dirt, slime, radium. Wait, what is this? What's radium? It is a light emitting radioactive substance. It is useful as a power source. Wait, what? What is this? Is this new element that's not in the game? Okay, that's cool. It emits light. I can't see it. I'll have to mind that out. All right. So, uh, Narandor, what's the challenge of this run? We're just going to be doing a normal playthrough. We're going to be doing the... What? Next print unavailable. Oh, I forgot. This mod randomly bops the printing pod. So sometimes you don't get a printout. Oh no, it's because it's entombed. I have to mine this out immediately. And then I probably want to mine this out so the water goes to the bottom. There's a ladder right here already. This is Abyssalite? I have an Abyssalite ladder. This is weird. Oh, cold water source right off. Yep. What's the Bator mod about? This is basically a customized extreme world gen map. So someone took a uh, normal... To, uh, took the world gen of this game and made a customized extreme world gen. Yeah, we have to check out the CO2 pockets. So gas pockets in this game, like the hydrogen right here, it's at 12 kilograms per tile. They're traps. Sometimes, yeah, right here we have 5 kilograms of CO2 per tile. They're going to try to get you with uh, gas bombs, for lack of better words. So we have to double check everything. All right, so we have somewhat warm, 75. That's cold again, and then that's cold again. That's hot. Dude, look at this. Seven tons of water, seven tons of water, 12 tons of water. Dude, this is insane. Dude, look at this. This looks like it's very unsuspecting. Wait, hold up. Shouldn't this actually break this tile? This is going to break, right? 
Dude, there's so many tiles here that should break. I'm so confused, man. All right, all right. So you know what? Let's just let's just play. Let's just play. Let's look at the quick composition of what we have. A little bit of oxalite right here. This is crushed. Wait, what is this? Crushed rock. Crushed rock is igneous rock crushed into a mechanical mixture. Wait, this is in the game. Crushed rock, igneous. We have new elements, boys. Coal, aluminum, lead, clay, dirt, sand. A lot of mud. A lot of plants. The hot phosphorus is really weird. Water here is normal. Hopefully the oxalite is a lot. No, it's only 100 kilograms. That's weak. Liquid electrum. Do we have that? Did not find any yet. I see you though. I'll see you over there. Saltwater brine mixing. All right, so first things first is just set the priorities. Everything's going to be here is going to be flat, high, toggling is going to be high, doctoring is low, rocketry disallowed, tidying is flat, cooking is disallowed, decorating, researching, and ranching. Pay the researcher. It's going to be researching, of course. Do the rocketry stuff when we need you to. Outside of that, we'll have you do minor operating and minor storing. Stinky is the mechatronics guy. It's going to be build supply. And then you'll do storing, operating, tidying. Quinn is going to be the guy that digs. And then that means you're going to be the attacker. And then we're going to have you tidy afterwards. Everything else is, should be flat. And then that should be good. Yeah, Napolini's. No spoilers, man. No spoilers. Alright, so let's exit everything out. Alright, we should be good. Let's get started. The Abyssal Light Ladder is really weird. Like, do I even want to deconstruct this? Because I don't know if I could build Abyssal Light Ladders. Like, is that a thing? Ceiling collapse. That's fine. And then these tiles are made out of abyssalite as well. That's really weird. Oh, the ration box is up here. Oh, the food's back here. We gotta mine that out. Water spills. That's fine. Got her first geyser. Steam vent. This is the 500 degree steam vent. That's not bad. Oh, that reminds me. I get this strat, right? Oh, wow, we get two unknown geysers, and then we get steam vent, chlorine, volcano miner, leaky, salt, and cool slush. Natural gas, cool. Dude, we get everything. Dude, we get everything. Welcome to the 10 biomes of hell. Don't think that a smaller asteroid will make survival any more likely. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of geysers. This is the spaced out start, so the map's small. So everything's probably going to be nearby. I think I read something along the lines of a lot of the geysers are already open. So we got to be uh, weary of that. Oh, we got wild morbs. Okay. Got another geyser. What do we got over here? Chlorine gas vent. Nah, it's garbage. That goes down to priority one. All right, so let's mine this out. Oh, crap. This is already going to break. <laughs> Classic. Oh, and this is about to break right here. Okay, we got to make space for the water, boys. Actually, let's go like this. So we can make the jump still this way. All right, nutrient bars. Good stuff, good stuff. Natural gas, 18 kilograms. 18 kilograms okay this is about to break i'm gonna try to have this open up so we could catch all the water i think that's gonna be the play and then after that let's start mining this oxygen should be going low let's start mining that i need to make space for the water man already flooding All right, so got to make space, got to make space. One, two, three, four. We should be good enough to mine this out. And then when I get to the bottom. I 
I feel like my water is going to freeze, right, if I get too close. This aluminum heat source right there, though, is going to save us. Oh, this is breaking already. Rip. That's going to break. Oh, this is breaking two tiles. Oh, all my plants are going to... Uh... <laughs> all my plants are going to have a bad time. That's breaking up there. Oh, man. Okay, so... Uh... Let's mine this much, three tiles, so that doesn't break on us. Once that breaks going down, this breaks going to the right. This is gonna fill up. This is gonna This right here has three breaks. Holy heck. One, two, three. And then this room's gonna fill up. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Oh, there's ladders underneath the tiles. Oh, so I could mine all this away. Let's try to use this as a normal platform. So does that mean there's a ladder here? No ladder here. Interesting, interesting. I could mine that out and still be able to reach that. Oh man, this is... I don't know what to do. I need to go to the right. I think I, I just need to. I know we need to go to the right. Oh, this is breaking. Ah, crap. Okay. Uh, let's mine this right here. Because I know this is going to break. We're going to want this to fall into here. And it broke. Let's go, boys. Oh, the mud fell down on top of it. <laughs> and it pushed up the water. Yo, strats. It worked out. Okay, so we have the oxalite there. Probably just mine that out. Get rid of it. Actually, let's leave it there. Let it off gas. And then start building some tiles. We're going to use Igneous. Build out the tiles when we can. Dude, building... I'm so I'm so worried. There's so many water pockets. Alright, so let's mine this out. Dude, everything here is... Yep, all the seeds. They're not going to give us wild plants because everything's going to flood itself. When does this solidify? 44 degrees okay i wonder if this is just so that we could pitcher pump that and use that as uh making natural tiles all right so first things first uh i don't have bathrooms still this I'm, I'm i'm just so lost right now i just i still don't have bathrooms <laughs> i'm so lost right now man like, I don't know what I'm doing. All right, let's build one of these here. Got to get a first bathroom set. And then we have dirt. We don't need water for the bathroom. We just need it to wash our hands. We have enough space over here. So maybe this is a strat. Just release the water. I'm gonna pitcher pump this. Got the water deliveries going to the left. All right, we got the first bathrooms. Hopefully we don't pee the tank. Hopefully this is a good start. Let's put a bottle emptier here. Let's mop this up. Let's mop this up as well. Actually, no, let's crack this open. Let the water push out. Oh, there's actually nothing here. All the water is actually dripped out. We can just let this break then. Oh, we didn't get this built. Can you guys finish eating? Please finish eating. There we go. Oh, man. All right. Oh, my God. We built the bathroom, but he still didn't use it. Oh my god. Alright, so Quinn, we're gonna force you to wake up. Nope, he's just gonna go to sleep. Oh, dude, 92%. 84. Okay, I think we'll be fine. I should have made them work an extra hour. <laughs> that would have been the bathroom right there. Okay, we have an open area right there on the right. Pokey shells up top, Morbs. The two geysers we already seen, plus the open salt water. 
more tiles are breaking. Holy heck. Okay. The guy's getting bopped by the shine bugs. 96%. They're actually 100% stamina. I should make them... Oh, what? No, dude. Waking up by a flood. That's the worst way to do it. And that's going to flood the bathroom. Are you serious? That means you can't use it. Okay, another thing I need to do is germ. Crank this up to 10 million. Come on, please. It's out of order because of the flood, dude. Oh, my God. We can't use the bathroom. Please empty out, man. Hurry up. Hurry up. Full bladder, dude. Oh, come on. What about Quinn? And switch, switch. Oh, there it is. No one peed the tank. We did it. <laughs> Why was that so much harder than it should be, man? Holy heck. All right, we'll mine this out. We have a lot of water at the bottom. This is going to freeze everything, I think. So we should probably insulate this when we can. And I think I should just replace that. Uh, I think this bottom empty is in a bad spot. And it's purely because of the fact that it's this ladder. Hmm. All right, you know what we'll do? We'll ladder up. And we'll make a weird base design for this playthrough. We're going to mine this out. I want to release the water. Just so that we deal with it now. I don't want to tiptoe around water bubbles that have a lot of water. I just want to release everything. That should be fine. The water is going to be thermal energy too. So any of the hot or cold areas shouldn't matter. Alright, so we'll get started with that. I don't want to drip water yet. That should be fine like that. We'll release that. I could also destroy the gas. If that's what I want to do as well. Still got a little bit of oxalite. I need to get power soon. Alright. Uh, for the most part, let's ladder all the way up. I think that's going to be a good idea. We'll probably replace the ladders eventually. We have a water pump right there. Water gets to spill out. Let it do its thing. Somehow we're not flooded. But you know what? We'll take that. I think I need to dig this down vertically, to be honest. Not that I want the water tanks to connect, but I think that benefits me because I do need to explore. Which probably means I need to release this water into this. Because I need more water space, basically. Food's going to last us three more cycles before we need to actually make food. And we also need to get research done. Uh, light source is not that great. This, I think this does work, right? That's a weird setup. I know it is, but it'd be like that sometimes. We're going to have the batteries in the water. It's going to be perfectly safe. <laughs> perfectly safe. Battery in the water spillage everywhere. Spill that out, spill that out. Let's mine this out too, just so that the water has this little bit of an easy spillway. Neural Vacillator. I'm in, boys. We have water weed in here. Naturally planted. Oh, that's awesome. Body temp, though, it's too cold. Okay. We have a wheeze wart. Sucrose. That's a lot of sugar. Oxyfern. Okay. Bluff Briars. Lime tile. Guys, remember what I told you guys? Diggable lime tiles. That's insane. We have enough lime to last us for the game. 10 kilograms of natural gas pocket right there. Okay. Interesting biome comps though. Radium is what I'm most interested about. This is a weird resource that we're not used to having. There's also... Uh... No, it's just radium. There's no uranium here. Crushed ice, wolframite salt, 
hydrogen, 2,000 kilograms or 2,000 grams. And then plumbing. Okay, let's speed this up. So we do get a print about or a printout uh, in a cycle because it's not entombed anymore. So that's good. We could run the wheel, get some power, get the research done. Of course, the first thing we need is the farm tiles. Got to start growing some food. Of course, that's going to be the reason why we want to tap into a lot of these pockets. So the natural gas could immediately kill us. Uh, do I want to make that into a natural gas storage? Because I could just mine out the tiles. Either way, uh, let's get the platforms in. One, two, three, four. So we want to get that started. Probably ladder up and down this way. This is actually there. That's pretty good. Do I want to spill out the water some more? I think we'll leave it there for now to stop the ice from freezing any water that's like right here. Oh, the teleporter. Oh, it's a grub grub. A best critter in the game. We got the uh, buildings over here. Another geyser. What do we got? Cool steam. 110. That's not that great. We'll put that priority 5. So we have a hot turbine, a regular steam, and a chlorine vent, which is alright. So the water is filling up a lot. Alright, let's just start mining out a lot more of the... Uh, tiles here then let's go with this actually let's just mine that i do want to mine this out so we could just have the water all in one spot but since we need space i the most i'm willing to do is uh remove these layers right here and then from here i want to do this we'll mine this out hopefully everything spills over we are going to mine everything that's going to be blocking the water from spilling out. And then we want the water to spill into here. I put a bad spot, man, for the bathrooms. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's, it's going to constantly be flooded. We have muck root. Luckily for us, I don't think there's a hatch anywhere. We don't get that hatch seven tiles from the left of the printing pot anymore. New run? What's the parameters of this run? Uh, we're playing with a mod. And the mod's called Bator. The Bator mod is a extreme world gen. I guess for the lack of better words, uh, planetoid cluster. So it makes a separate world called the Bator world. And uh, it has extreme world gen properties. This is one of them. So you'll get uh, bubbles of either gas or liquid around this value, 18 kilograms. So if you dig that up, it's going to basically suffocate you. <laughs> uh, we dug up the individual water tiles that were 7 kilograms or 7 tons per tile. And then it expanded all the water to here. It broke a lot of natural tiles too. So there's a lot of crazy stuff like diggable lime tiles right here. There is a new element called radium that's right here. We have something called crush rock tile. That's really weird. Crush rock. We have a lot of weird elements that you would normally not play with. This is a biome. Salt slush with poke shells. We got uh, natural gas, 20 kilograms right there. Clay. And this is Bator. It's supposed to be crazy. Someone's trapped. Oh, the sand bopped. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. All right. So the water's a problem again. Let's deconstruct this. Just uh, help out with the flooding. But yeah, exclamation point Bator to see the mod. And if you go to the star map, it says, Welcome to the 10 biomes of hell. Look at the uh, peak light, 10,000 lux. You get no sunlight over here. Aresia, coming in with the raid. Thank you so much for the raid, Aresia. I see you over there. How are you? How was the streams today? Shoutouts to you. Hello, hello. How was the Onis? How was the stream? Talk to us about that, man. Hopefully you had a good one. The Bator mod. Yeah, we're checking it out for the first time. It's uh, it's an experience so far. <laughs> All this right here was five individual tiles of water. One tile of five tons. One tile of seven. One tile of seven. One tile of 12. 
and then it popped and then we're just filled up with water now <laughs> it's uh it's kind of wild man we have right right here 350 kilograms that's not a lot though can i find any more of those insane water volume bubbles probably not huh it's probably in the beginning only stream was good we made a aluminum volcano tamer ended up discussing a load of other people's designs on discord oh yeah i imagine when it comes to uh taming metal volcanoes yeah man there's everyone has a design <laughs> yeah beta is full of traps yep i see the gas ones already that's gonna suffocate us if we don't take care of and then we already have some co2 issues i'll have to deal with this as well but yeah so far so good you know what let's actually drain this I'm just going to fill up the bottom and then uh, hopefully CO2 could just accumulate right there. Oh, it's based on D&D's nine hells. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Interesting. Interesting. But hey, man, I see what they're recently. I got to get the metal volcanoes tamed. Good stuff. Good stuff. Have you ever attempted Bator, the Bator mod yourself, Aresia? I'm curious. You've heard about it, right? Have you played it, though? Come on, Stinky, you got this. Hey, we're going to make some space now. Let's go, let's go. You have Drekos down there and 40 degree hydrogen. All right, we're just going to spill this out so that uh, we have some space. Oh, Stinky's doing the dance of death. Oh, he's breathing in water. Let's go. This guy coming in with the strats. I had to look at sandbox mode and it looks terrifying. <laughs> Hey man, it's not that bad, right? It shouldn't be that bad. Terrifying, what a way to describe it. Our first printout, uh, do we even want salt water? I probably want another dupe, right? Now let's let's not take the dupe yet. Actually, this guy's a rancher, that's really good for us. He's a fish, he's breathing on the water, man. He got the strats. Alright, so pause and let's look around temperature overlay makes me feel like i should stay centralized but i think we're going to do an insulated style and then i think i have an idea what i need to do 20. six so it's here okay I should make these towels really quick. Drown and just breathe, bro. I know, right? Stinky could do it. You can too. If Stinky got strats, you could pull it off as well. Stay unspoiled. I'm not exaggerating. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, 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 yeah. No spoilers. Try to keep this a clean playthrough right now at the very least. Dude, it doesn't seem like we have much space though. I'm not gonna lie. The base designs are already kind of jank. So this is the water and then the CO2 is right here. I feel like I just need to mine this out on the right side. Just to create space. Stinky had to run all the way there though. I would want to build tiles here, but because of the water, it's kind of a problem. Maybe we do this. And then uh, that just relocates. Start using the water from here. Once we get the supercomputer, it helps us out. 3,000 uh, gram. That's that's a lot. But yo, if you guys don't know me, my name is Too Legit City. Coming in from the Aresia Raid. We do a lot of Oni. City Skylines and uh, currently some Don't Starve Together. Those are our current games right now. And uh, guys, if you guys don't know Risia, he does a lot of oxygen not included. Check them out. Especially if you're up a little bit earlier than I stream. <laughs> Time zones, right? But yeah, check out Risia. Drop him a follow. Got to support the other Oni content creators. So much CO2. Yeah, I got to do something with that. We do have actually... How much algae do I have? 11? That's not a lot. When do I get Carbon Skimmer? <laughs> when do I get Carbon Skimmer? I actually feel like I should delete it. 
Or maybe I just make an infinite storage design on the left side. That makes the most sense. I need to start moving the CO2, I think. I'm, I'm so lost, though. Because of the biome generation, I don't know what I should actually do first. A lot of crude oil, granite sedimentary rock, liquid phosphorus. Oh, this eventually solidified. Nice. We have uh, refined phosphorus right here. We have regular spots, right? Not bad, not bad. Alright, I think I need to do this. Just so that we can travel a little bit easier for the dig. I want to dig this out so we have space for the CO2. Alright, after we get supercomputer, I'm probably going to want to go for insulated tiles. Alright, so oxygen generation is another thing we got to get started with. It's totally safe to run the power wires in the uh, water. Totally not a problem at all. A little bit of stress, not a lot. Probably do want to mine that. Do the farming. Grab the food when we can. Yeah, CO2 is a problem. Let's have this be a higher priority. I have a builder, right? Build supply that's stinky. Oh man, we really need oxygen. <laughs> uh, dude. Dude, I have 4,000 grams of oxygen at the bottom. What happened, dude? All the O2 is trapped at the bottom of the map. Dude, 40 kilograms? Did I mess up? Guys, we gotta release that. <laughs> Yo, 40 kilograms. Yo. Guys. It's time to mine out. We gotta free the oxygen. We gotta free the oxygen, boys. 40 kilograms. This is this could only benefit us, right? Come on, Quinn. Oh, he almost got it. He's gotta breathe. He needs a breather. No! Ada? Ada. Ada. Entombed? I have another ration box? Wait a second. Am I supposed to run out of food and then make my way to here? I'm so confused. A second ration box that's never happened before? We do have a little bit of algae everywhere. Totem Hugger David! Have you played a lot of the, uh... Have you played a lot of the Baytor mod? Ah, uh, yes. Sweet, sweet O2. Have you played a lot of the Bator mod? Are you familiar with it? Just curious, of course. Oh, you've heard of it. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cranks up world gen pretty insane. For the most part, it's, uh... We have a little bit of algae. A lot of gas bombs, though, right now. Natural gas. You gotta make sure I don't crack into that. As that's gonna be a problem. 25 kilograms of CO2. Yep, totally going to be a problem. Alright, we're making tiles for the bathrooms. Let's probably make this priority 9 on both. Alright, so... Mine this out as well. That's going to be a problem. It's going to be an understatement. <laughs> yeah, we're going to try to do our best to, to make that not a problem. We don't know if that's going to be hard or not, though. I watched someone else play this, and the uh, it was kind of crazy, the stuff they ran into. Oh, there's a hatch right here. Oh, they're going to start eating my foods, yo. That's not going to be fun. That is not going to be fun. All right, let's stir all the food in the ration box. All right, research is done. I think I am going to grab insulated tiles immediately. And then we'll work on getting a supercomputer soon. All right. Did I get light? I do get the light bonus here. That's actually pretty funny. All right, we're not going to get the light bonus though for the supercomputer. This is going to be a temporary spot. I know it looks shank. Don't worry, guys. Temporary, temporary. We're doing this temporary. I don't know where my biome ends. I'm so confused, man. 
Like, I, I don't know where my biome starts and stops at. <laughs> Isn't that weird? It's like... I guess we follow the heat map, and then it stops right here. But then when I look at it, I'm like, wait, it kind of continues. Does it keep going this way? And then it gets hot, and I'm just, ah, oh, man. Got pips, the chillin'. Our toilets? Oh, no, they just didn't pee the night before. Swap, swap. Pay is okay on bladder. Stinky's okay on bladder. Ada is okay on the bladder. Okay, so we need more bathrooms now. So let's let's make this. Dude, I'm worried, man. Everyone in chat so far has said this mod is pretty insane. <laughs> so I'm worried. All right, so our objective for this playthrough is just going to be doing the printing pot objectives. Normal stuff. Get the artifacts. Go to every planet. Open the tear. Breach the tear. Home sweet home. That's going to be the immediate objective for this. Nothing too crazy, right? All right. So the new person, Ada, is a rancher. You have science? Oh, you're a quick learner. Ranch tidy. Okay, so tidy is going to be one of your strong suits. That's good. We'll have you do store supply afterwards. The Bader mod, making experienced players be scared. Yo, man, they have a right to be scared. Scary times, man. It's scary times. You just completed a massive wild farm? Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. What kind of plants are you wild farming? I should probably mine this out. Because I could just take the ladder down is what I'm thinking. Oh, mud? Hey, man. Can we get a dig command right there, priority 9? Oh, you're going for the berry sludge? Good stuff. That's actually really strong. I would say that's a great choice. Great choice, great choice. Oh, what the heck? A wild abyss bug? I might want to keep this guy. That's pretty cool. We got the wild abyss bug. Oh, he doesn't shine light. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I was like, huh, does the abyss bug actually shine light? And the answer is no. That's pretty cool. <laughs> These abyss bugs, man. Those guys. They're a shine bug that doesn't shine anything. Alright, so from this part, we'll continue mining this out because we should. I want to mine this part out, mine up the uh, plants right there. Oh, dude, yeah, max gas pressure. Okay, so we need to dig out space for the CO2 so that we could breathe. So oxygen is already an issue. Okay. Uh, do we have pumps? I do. And I do have a vent. Okay, so I could actually make an infinite pressure design. And I think that's one of the things that makes the most sense. Okay, so if we do a 1, 2, 3 design, it should be here. And then let's do the liquid lock. Oh, and then there's water. Okay, so we want to mine this out first then. And then from here, this could be a ladder well. So this goes up. And then there is a lip right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, no. This ladder is not in the correct spot. It should be here. And then these two should be extended tiles. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then one, two. And then this should be solid tiles right here. I would have to dig out to the other side and insulate it though after I'm done. At the same time, I could just replace it. That's actually true. Do that, and then we want this. Alright, that's going to be the immediate goal. Dude, max gas pressure? That's insane. 
Uh, how else can I create space? I want to pump the CO2 out though. All right, I, th I think the best thing we could do is just build an algae terrarium. Like, I'm not even kidding. I need to eat the CO2 even a little bit. And a lot of the times I even go and say to myself, you don't want that building. I think it's actually beneficial. I might have also released a little bit of CO2 unknowingly. There's only 14 kilograms right there. Dude, there's 34 kilograms, uh, 44 kilograms of CO2 right there just sitting. The bathroom's out of order. Feels bad. Dude. I'm so worried. <laughs> I'm so worried. I feel like I shouldn't be this worried. But I am. Ada doing the tidying. Stinky, not peeing his pants. Good stuff. I want to have the water flood out, but at the same time, I'm so worried. Natural gas pockets. Polluted oxygen is actually not bad. I should probably crack into that, even though I get the yucky lungs. All right, Stinky, we need the algae terrarium. Get some water. Get some algae for this. We need to start converting. All right, CO2 storage. We need to start moving the CO2 into here. Shouldn't be too bad once everything gets done. All right, we need, oops, not a tile. We need one more ladder right there first. Muck root on the ground, should be fine. This has cooled down as well, which is pretty good. little bit of oxygen it's not too bad 46 kilograms of co2 yep we're not gonna go to the bottom anytime soon no researchers assigned uh skill points the researcher nice okay so quinn digging stinky is going to be Getting ready for mechatronics. Go with carrying capacity. Ada's going to be the rancher. Oh, Ada's... Oh, that's kind of... <laughs> She's negative morale. Aw, oh, dude. Rip. Hopefully she could eat something nice. But she got a bad skill. Alright, breathable up top. We're converting oxalite. Algae, I'll take that. So max gas pressure. Come on, man, we need you producing. I wonder if I could just move the algae diffuser to somewhere else. The CO2 is just so heavy. Dude, I can't go down. That's such a weird thing. I can't go down. All right, we're going to mine this out and build tiles on top of it so that we could have uh, all the items below so I don't have to sweep it. We'll have to sweep this floor, though, unfortunately. No beds, boys. At least not yet. Soon, we'll get some beds. Soon, soon. One, two, three, four. Let's have this on a seven. This is going to be on a five. If I do that, I get two beds per floor. Four dupes. I get two floors. I guess that's not bad. I wonder if there's anything that's a... How do I say this? A time bomb. That it's so pressurized it's going to eventually break that I should worry about. So far, so good, though. Fog of War. Crushed Ice, Copper War. Oh, crap? Really? 
This room is filled with naphtha liquid? What? What? Dude, is this hot? No, it's cold. I'm so confused. Crude oil on the floor. Naphtha, a thousand kilograms per tile. More naphtha right here. I'm so confused. Why? Why is this? Why do we have liquid plastic? <laughs> nice. Hell yeah, naphtha. That's so weird. I, I mean, I know what I'm going to use my liquid locks now. This goes up to 500 degrees. It's pretty sweet. It's going to be better than oil. <laughs> it's a better liquid lock than oil. That's actually pretty funny. Yeah, free liquid locks is something. What can you use uh, naphtha for outside of liquid locks? Uh, boiling into uh, sour gas to make uh, natural gas. Outside of that, there's not that many options. There is some properties of naphtha, though. That's very, very interesting. Uh, naphtha is the only liquid that's lighter than water. And there are some weird interactions you could do because of that property. It is the only liquid that's lighter than water. Outside of that, water is lighter than everything else. Naphtha is the only thing that's lighter than it. But there's some pretty cool designs you could do because of that. Coolant for metal refineries or liquid locks. Yep. Now, because they have high density per tile is the only reason why they're good. But if any other liquid pours into it, it breaks. Because the naphtha is going to float above the liquid. So if water spills into here, and I have naphtha here, the naphtha floats up. And then the water gets inside and then it goes from here to here and then the naphtha pushes up on the side as well so technically it's useful for a liquid lock but it's not actually that great so that that's that's one of the things with the naphtha struggles struggles i don't know how to call it naphtha struggles but that's naphtha for you Alrighty, little bit of polluted oxygen. Okay, so let's delete this. Let's move this a little bit up. Let's put it... Let's remove the bottle emptier and put it there. Alright, so there's a little bit of pee water. I need to probably move that. Uh, let's put that into here. Let's put it here, actually. This probably makes the most sense. Is is it naphtha or is it viscal gel? Did I did I mix did I mix that up, Lumbo? Is it viscal gel that's lighter than water? You might be right. You might be right. It's one or the other. It's the purple liquid. <laughs> It's either viscal gel or naphtha. One of these is lighter than water. I, I was confident in my answer until you brought that up. Now I, I am doubting myself. <laughs> I don't actually know now. Like, wait a second. Hold up. You might be right. It's probably viscal gel that's lighter than water. Because that's the, that's the one that stacks up vertically, right? I think that is the one that's lighter than water. I'm probably wrong. I think you're right. It feels bad. I got that wrong, boys. You hate to see it. Alright, we're gonna move the pee water up. The logic being is that uh, I don't want anything outside of CO2 at the bottom. And there's already too much water. 50 kilograms. Okay, cool. So we're gonna mop this tile when we can. This is off gassing, that's fine. Dude, there's a lot of shine bugs. Liquid hydrogen, viscal gel, and liquid CO2 are on top, are the top. There we go. So, of course, liquid CO2, once it touches water, it becomes gas. Same thing with liquid hydrogen. Either that or it freezes the water. And viscal gel is the only one at the same temperature range that actually uh, floats on top, right? There we go. So, I was wrong. <laughs> I, I, I want to take back my statement if that's possible, you guys, in chat.
that uh, naphtha was the lightest liquid. I had that wrong, you guys. Very sorry. I apologize for the mistakes. Oh, I, s I took out too much water. God damn it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to sweep only water here. All right, so how much is this? Four tiles. We already have 100 grams. I will never forget, like, ever. Dude, please forgive me. So how much do I need? I need five to six kilograms. Five to six kilograms. Where can I get that? It's probably going to be here, right? 300... 250 12 Oh, that's not a lot. Dude, what's up with these water bottles? All right, let's let's go with the large bottle of water that we just have right here. And then we just control the spillage. Not the seventh heaviest. I had that wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very sorry, you guys. Where does Napta come in to help with? Help? Help. Uh, Napta is usually an alternative from using oil to make sour gas. And you use Drecos and the Dreco plastic into sour gas. That would be one of the reasonings behind that. Alright, so Aildar, what's good? I see you over there. Hope you're doing well, man. Alright, so there was 200 kilograms in here. That should be good. Yeah, 1,000 grams of water per tile. Should be good. All right, we'll just deconstruct this now. The water is going to be not swept anymore. And then this is going to be our CO2 storage because we have way too much CO2. Eldar, hope you're doing well. Have you heard of the Bator mod? Exclamation point Bator if you want to link to the mod. But apparently, this is World Gen in Oni cranked up to 11 with a lot of weird stuff that's in the game but not actually being generated on the maps like radium we have things like crushed ice we have things like crushed rock we have things like napta naturally occurring liquid napta we also have things like morb biomes with the morbs just hanging out natural grub grubs we got the abyss bug hanging out by the lime oh it gave me an azure nymph egg dude this guy, dude. Azure Nymph. It gives me the blue bug. That's that's pretty cool. But this is a uh, mod that basically cranks up the game to 11. And uh, probably is still a challenge. There's a lot of traps in the game. Look at this. 20 kilograms of natural gas in one tile. If I crack that open on the first cycle, I immediately lose... All this water came from five separate bubbles, like this, of water. But each bubble had 7 to 12 tons of water inside. And the moment I started loading the game, it started breaking the tiles. <laughs> like this, this is crazy, man. A lot of crazy stuff going on. But yeah, we're having some issues right now with CO2. Because I cracked open a CO2 bomb. You can see that we have some of it trapped right here still, luckily. And uh, the carbon dioxide is a problem. So we're trying to move into infinite storage right now. All right, next thing we're going to need is power, of course. And then research is done. I want the large battery. Let's get large battery, no coal gen. High viscosity, high boiling point. I guess that's pretty good. I guess we'll just use it for the liquid lock whenever possible. All right, so this is already sealed too. So I don't have to actually move anything out. And let's get some water into here. I probably also want to... I don't need a door. It should be fine. So what's the final goal? We're just going to do a normal playthrough with the extreme biome generation. So the other thing about it is I don't know how this affects the star map. We look pretty centralized. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is normal star map size. This is not the flipped magma planet size. So seems pretty interesting. But uh, I just want to do printing pot objectives with the extreme map generation. So that's going to be the Bator playthrough. Hopefully uh, nobody dies. But I want to check out the mod and see for myself. Got to see what this game has in store for us. 
All right, making a liquid lock. We're going to be able to start pumping soon, remove some of the CO2. Looks interesting. Yo, man, hopefully it's going to be a fun playthrough. It already is pretty fun. Air quotes, fun. We're already struggling, man. <laughs> it's pretty interesting. All right, so we know this is going to be here. And we know we want that. If we crack that, though, we know the gas comes out. So we need to have this. And I probably want that. Need to start capturing the natural gas if we can. And then that way we can clear this out without having that break on us. <sighs> Alright, so... Everything should be good on that side, so let's go with this. Start removing some of the seal too. have this be uh, really, really pressurized. We're going to have to go inside popper eardrums as a result. Alright, so the next thing I want to grab was the insulated tile, which we have already. Okay. That means the next thing I actually want to probably get is... Hmm, this is actually interesting. I probably want to grab ranching tack. We got started. Getting ranching as early as possible is probably beneficial going to be filtering this out good good we could start we we had so much co2 the oxygen diffuser couldn't produce that's how crazy it is it'd be like that sometimes we have to fill this up we have that done so let's go so we're gonna go one two three and then this is gonna be the wall okay so that means i need this this That's technically what I need to do. So let's set this up. So we'll do two different layers. So we can do all at once. And then we probably want to mine this out. We fall down, climb back out. And then we need the larger batteries as soon as we can. Uh, I want to put that just right here. It's probably the best. It's temporary. It's all temporary. What's going on, Mavis? How are you? I see you over there. Happy Tuesdays. Happy Tuesdays. And of course, chat, thank you guys for tuning in today. Appreciate you guys. Out of all of the channels on Twitch, man, y'all hanging out right here. Thank you guys for tuning in. And hope everyone's having a nice Tuesday. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. If it's uh, not related to the playthrough and just an Oni question, that's also great. Just let me know. But uh, otherwise, man, just trying out the Baytor mod. Hopefully this is going to be a good time. Hopefully we don't make that many mistakes. <laughs> that's that's kind of where I'm at. I just don't want to make mistakes. All right, so we could corner build this so that it's... oh. So that it's not a problem. See, none of the natural gas got uh, destroyed because we did it properly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Finally home after a long weekend of work. What's the new mod? Oh, nice. Hey, Ross the Jama with the 1,001 bits. Jeez. I see you over there. Thank you so much, Ross the Jama. Appreciate the support. So the new mod basically is custom world gen. And I believe the mod maker, I believe someone in chat told us that the idea was to imitate the nine levels of hell that is in the Dungeons and Dungeons game. Dungeons and Dragons, I'm sorry, not Dungeons and Dungeons. So in the D&D uh, campaign, I guess in the lore or in the story, I don't know how to describe it. They say there's nine levels of hell or something like that. I don't know. Either way, uh, this was the inspiration for the uh, biomes that we uh, that we see if we go to the star map welcome to the 10 biomes of hell something like that so someone someone said in chat that their steam page said it was based on D D's nine levels of hell 
is where they got the inspiration. So maybe D&D &D got it from Dante's Inferno, I'm not sure. But that's what he said, so I'm just going to take what he said. It'd be like that sometimes, Mavis. Finally home, long weekend of work? Dude, long weekend of work does not sound fun, yo. Hopefully it was an easy time. Hopefully it was not that bad. Wait, it's only Tuesday? Hey, it'd be like that sometimes. Don't worry, man. It's, it's going to be fast. Days are going to pick up. 11 kilograms per tile. Let's go. Got to move out the CO2, of course. All right, so we have enough water in here now. We could just do it like that. And then I need to go through the, this side. Okay, so I do need to redo some of the uh, lineups of the base. And I already see how the design's going to work already. Okay, so we're going to have one, two, three. Right, this is going to be the proper ladder. And then that means everything here, so this is going to be the door. Proper ladder, space, lip, door. So we have to move everything accordingly. So it's here to here. That's technically how this should be set up. And then we need to mine everything else out. Based on uh, Dungeons & Dragons lore, featuring 10 new biomes, one of each layer of hell, including new points of interest to explore. Oh, there's new points of interest? Oh, crap, son. I hope I hope they actually kept uh, Russell's teapot, though. That's one of the things I, I hope they kept inside. <laughs> Russell's teapot was cool, dude. Just saying. Alright, so we built this out. We just gotta go underneath. So, let's go like this. Oh, the sand's gonna fall. Oh, crap, dude. I didn't even consider that. Alright, we probably have to keep this here and then do our design. So it's probably gonna be a liquid lock. So we probably just wanna do this. Oh, it's a pit? I mean, we have these on the map, but I'll take one early. Work was okay. I've been uh, same with a friend so I could help, so they could help get me to work. I uh, did have to train at someone though. Even though I'm not technically supposed to. Dude, man, I hate... I hate... That's the one thing I hate about... Uh... Jobs. That... 99% of the time... You always do a lot of random shit. That your job detail doesn't actually require you to do. You know what I'm saying? It feels like no matter what job you do, there's always something like that. Where it's like, I know I'm not supposed to be doing this, but why the hell are we doing this? Don't worry, it's going to be fine, <laughs> you know? And then the manager just tries to spew some BS. Oh yeah, it's going to be cool, man. It's going to be cool. I'm here hoping a deer clops cracks through the astral terror to hunt you down. But you know how it is, too much imagination. Dude, man, isn't the winter event over, dude? I'm just saying. Yeah, I was too good at electrical stuff, so they thought they could start dumping plumbing on me. Dude, you know what you should have done? You should have just got electrocuted, got workers comp, and been like, dude, y'all fucked up. You're giving water to an electrician? <laughs> Fuck's wrong with you guys, man? <laughs> You're making the electrician deal with water? Come on, man. Come on. Next thing you know, you're going to play Pokemon and give your Charmander a water stone. Oh yeah, it's gonna balance him out. He's gonna be cool now. No man, that doesn't work. And then uh, make up. Oh yeah, term quiet quitting, which means don't do all your. Dude, that's the thing. Like the the finesse that they're trying to pull. Like they think they're smart, but it's like I think more often than not people see through their stupidity. And I feel like there's also a generation of people that don't understand, like, social media still. Like, there's, there's so many, like, people that if you look through their Twitter history, they say some crazy stuff. Right? Start, start, start posting a lot of, like, wild stuff. And it's like, oh, I didn't know that's how... Twitter worked <laughs> and it's like wait 
so you're not denying the fact that this is actually things you enjoy. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's not even saying, oh, yeah, my bad. He's like, oh, man, I didn't know this was public. Right? There's so many of those people that are right now pushing agendas. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. The world's wild, man. Yeah, where I work, you aren't supposed to be training new employees unless you've had specific training to do so. Goes through with, uh, that gives you at least a dollar raise to you. Oh, yeah, that's the thing. Oh, yeah, if we, if, if this person trains that person, we save money. Yeah. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Seeing random stuff like elephants covered in barbecue sauce on trampolines is the vibe of, I don't understand this technology. What are you even talking about, Susumi? <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? Ada is stressed. Oh, yeah. That's because uh, we gave her farming when she was not ready for it. Ah, man. This is a bad situation. Maybe we should skill scrub Ada. Because she doesn't need it yet, and we're not ranching. Hopefully we just manage the stress, to be honest. Alright, we're gonna need this. Oh, Google searches as tweets. I remember there was the old man who was uh, looking up uh, adult videos by typing it in his Facebook feed. And then his daughter said, Grandpa, that's not Google. We could all see your searches. <laughs> and it was like, he, he didn't see it. He just kept doing it. <laughs> that was the worst part, man. He didn't see that message. He just kept searching, man. It was just posted up on his Facebook feed. <sighs> it's wild, man. All right, so we're going to need another pitcher pump, or not pitcher pump, Bono emptier right here. Let's put that inside. This is doable, so let's line this up. Let's actually seal that up too. And then we want to make sure there's no other gases in here. So we'll box this up, and then we can deconstruct everything once we're done. No one gets entombed, let's go. This is going to be water. All right, so we get the natural gas taken care of. It's a lot better now in terms of... Oh, no! All right. All right, oxygen. It's going to float up. We're going to catch both bubbles and delete it. I accidentally released or uh, put out a little bit too much gas. All right, so... We're just going to release the gas right here. <laughs> Feels bad. And then once the oxygen combines, 6 kilograms, what we're going to do is we're going to put a tile there. We're going to try to crush it. The oxygen in there is not going to hurt us, but I, I don't want to have it, though. I do need to also crush the uh, tiles here so that the water doesn't have any problems and we get the vacuum. There we go. So... Try to build on top of the oxygen. If we do, it gets crushed. This is going to be our new format for the room layout. So I should mine out the backside accordingly. So here to here. Right? And then this is going to be that. So I want a backside ladder. So let's have that flush. And then we get this design. So that should be good. Let's go like this. Sand falls down, but it should be fine. Can you scare oxygen with mesh tiles like the Paku? You know, the thing with that is, is that the mesh tiles is not unlocked yet, so I can't test it out. In due time, man, you gotta remind me. But as of right now, I can't even test. And we have a vacuum, let's go. I can't test it out because we don't have mesh. It's not unlocked, at least not yet. All right, so let's go for this because we can climb up and mine that. Have this continue going up. 
I'll probably want to line it up to the Abyssal Light just so that we have a nice little perimeter. At the bottom, I probably just go straight down, get to the ration box, and then go to the left. And then I probably keep this geyser on the outside, so I probably do a weird design like that. Because this is going to be hot steam, right? 500 degrees? Technically power and a water source. Oh, we got a teleporter. Oh, I can't click on the top to see other planet, though. What's going on, banana dude? How are you? Oh, you're playing a Bator. Yes, we're checking out the Bator mod for the first time. Learning about the uh, jankness that is the mod, but it's uh, hopefully going to be a fun and a good time. How are you, though, banana dude? Happy Tuesdays. Welcome on in. Hope you're having uh, good times today, man. Pretty good. What about you? We're doing all right. The Bator mod gave us some problems with seal 2 but uh, I think we're dealing with that by pumping it up in storage. We still have a lot of CO2 problems. I cracked open one of the CO2 bombs accidentally. So we're trying to recover from that. After that, I'm trying to figure out some of the... Oh, we found our first hot area. It's only 200 degrees. I guess it's not too bad. Not too bad. Wait, what is this? Why is this green? You see that? It looks like someone put a highlighter on this. I'm a little bit confused. It should be fine. It should be fine. Got some achievements. Research complete. Uh, what's the next? I'll probably get deodorizers. It's pretty pretty sweet. It's made of insulation and abyssalite. Is that what the green bar is? These are not the same, though, right? Either way, it's an uh, experience. It's going to be an experience. All right, let's mine this out. Let's mine that out. And then after we're done, we'll mine out the layers below. And then the oxalate should just off-gas. Nice, so we're going to have enough water now. So we're going to go here, here, here. Deconstruct that. And then mine this out. All right, so we're just containing the natural gas that we found. There's four, 36 kilograms right there. Oh, there's a drywall behind it, potentially. Ah, gotcha. So I have to keep some of the digging patterns there so that we could build out the tiles and then replace it with regular tiles without having the natural gas leak out. So we contain it. All right, so deodorizer tech is going to be next. And I'll probably want to start moving my bathrooms. All right, we want to mine this out. Hopefully no one stands on the Abyssalite and have a problem. Let's go straight down from there, of course. Oh yeah, guys, I got my DGSM to work for me. If you guys have problems with the mod DGSM. So nothing new for Bator? Uh, for the most part, I'm just happy it works. <laughs> I, I'm just happy it works. Oh, that's so cool for a mod. I decided to read up on it. Any basic questions answered. And I love the inspiration of this mod. I know, right? Xenoside, it's pretty cool. The uh, There's actually, like, inspiration that they found in order for this. And that, that's pretty cool. Oh, classic Stinky. My man Stinky is stuck. My man Stinky is stuck, boys. Yep, and he's stuck. Classic. Alright, luckily for us, we could mine the Oxalite. And he's stuck, version 2 Electric Boogaloo. And he's no longer able to build. Alright, we're in, we're in. Okay, so how did we fix DGSM? When you go into mods, it lists your mods, right? And it's like a list of mods. On the left side, there's a button that if you click, you could drag it. And what it allows you to do is actually in this game, there is something called load order. So you just have to move that to the top of the list so that that mod loads in first. If it doesn't load in first, it doesn't work. 
but that's the only thing I did. And after I did that, it's it's working fine. Afternoon, I see you over there. Hope you're doing well. I wonder if there's meteors on the home planet. That's a great question. I gotta check that out once we get to the top. Of course, we're gonna need that there. And of course, we're gonna have ladders on the side. This is gonna be a weird layout, but I think it's gonna be pretty good. I was using bio inks to get three loaded dupes at the start. Set to 5% in the future. Oh, okay. Yeah, it just needs to be number one in the load order. Yep, yep. That's, that's what fixed it for me. Because before, I didn't have it as number one. And then I thought about it. I'm like, huh. You could drag to reorder this. And then it just gave me flashbacks to RimWorld. Where if you don't have Harmony as your number one loaded mod, it just breaks everything. So I just had to move that. <laughs> oh, is Bator spaced out? Yes, we are playing on the smaller planet. On the new star map. So this is spaced out. So we get the new stuff like Grub Grubs and things like that. And that's the one thing I wanted to check. I didn't know whether or not this would be uh, fine on the uh, spaced out version. Alright, this gas vent's done. This is spaced out size. This is spaced out size. Yeah, yeah, the small one, small So if you guys are looking at my Entombed, that's actually this ration box down there with some nutrient bars. I'm not mad, it's free food, but we have the notification, right? Which kind of sucks. Alright, so we're running out of food soon. Uh, of course, first thing I'm going to look at is dirt. 12 tons, not a lot. We do have a lot of dirt we could probably mine for now. And there's probably a little bit more muck root we could probably dig up. How much is this? Holy crap. Y'all see this trap right here? 180 kilograms of carbon dioxide. I almost lost the game. I literally almost lost the game. Dude. <laughs> yep, that's totally safe. Totally safe. Digging. Yeah, dig you have to watch out, man. That's the thing with this game. You have to mouse over all the gas. Oh, another one right here. Another 180. Another 90 right there. Jeez. All right, I'm going to cheese it. Oh, I can't cheese it. Oh, dude. I can't build a tile there because of the plant. Oh, <laughs> that's actually great. I'm not going to lie. That's actually pretty great. The game knew I was coming. Yeah, man, they knew. I can't corner build delete that. Alright, there's another strat for that though. I think I have to stand here. So we'll put the two ladders right there. Build the tile under plant through the corner. Hmm, that probably also works. I was trying to see if I could actually dig diagonally. I see you guys. I see you guys. Appreciate the suggestions. I see you guys doing chat. Alright, so this is going to be a ladder. And then this is going to continue going out this way. This should ladder up. And then we should have this dug out. Crush the oxygen. Let's go. All right, so 3,000 kcals, digging up everything probably helps us out. But I do need to start getting some farms in. And I think that's going to be what we have in the middle. I think that makes the most sense. So right here, we have a ration box, random wheels. We're just going to start doing a setup like this. This is going to be our farmland area. This is a hot spot, but it's between two cold spots, so I'm hoping it just goes away. And then this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 21, 28. And then if I get another one, we get 35. This is going to be enough, though, for uh, all the dupes. We don't even need the top layer. Actually, do I have a lot of clay? I have no clay. What was this? Oh, I just haven't mined it out. Oh, rip. I was like, don't I have a lot of clay? I should try to use clay for the farms. All right, let's build this layer. 
let's deconstruct this out and then let's dig up some clay dude all right so this is the proper ladder let's dig some of that up right there we want to dig that up if possible easy does it oh wait there we go there we go What difficulty is this? Is there any difficulties? Any surprise spore kids? Oh, crap. I did not check out the germ overlay yet. A little bit of slime lung. That's it. Just slime lung. I Did I just see zombie spores? Did I just see zombie spores? No, right? Okay, cool. No zombie spores. Individual slime lung, that's about it. Them pockets, almost lost the game again. I know, right? Oh, wait. I gotta, I gotta do that. Oh, I can't do that, and I can't do this. Because the sand falls down. That's right. That's right, that's right. Oh, normal difficulty, normal difficulty. Just normal difficulty right now. So we have Ada high stress. That's because she's zero for one. Feels bad. So we don't know. Maybe they don't show us where the devils are right now. Swarm of Zambonis. Maybe it's on the other planets. Maybe it's at the edge of the map. Who really knows? Man? All I know is that right now I can't answer that. The devil's in the details. Yes. <laughs> the devil's in the details. Like this one gas bubble is 90 kilograms. And it's going to cause a little bit of suffocation. Joyous seeds. I'm taking this. All right. So mealwood, plant, copy, paste. All right, research is done. Uh, I have insulated tiles. I have deodorizer carbon skimmer. I don't have anything water pump related. I probably do want to grab that. I just don't know if I want to grab that now. I do have critter drop-offs for potential ranching setups. All right, we'll grab Steve. Grab the Steve. Swarm of Zambonis, though. If you are curious about the mod, exclamation point, Bator. In chat, we'll give you a link to the mod. So you can check out the Steam page. This is... Okay, we can hit this. Alright, and then I get a little bit of clay, right? So that's going to be the farm tiles. I'm just going to assume we're not going to need the clay. Right? So we're just using it for the farm tiles right now. We're trying to line up the right side because that's heat coming in. I want to get this all the way to the top. It's probably just like that. Or we'll probably have this adjust slightly. All the water at the bottom. Can't complain. It's starting to freeze soon though. I just... I'm a little bit worried about that. Good news is, is that this part right here would be insulate a wall. And then we just have to go straight down. Oh, man. I think we're going to go for a tall base in this playthrough. Tall base. Tall base. It's going to be a weird design. Oh, no, dude. All the bathrooms. Oh, full bladder, dude. Oh, dude, that's not cool, dude. <laughs> that's like Ada, dude. Hurry up. Hurry up. Stinky's going to pee the tank. Stinky's going to pee the tank. Oh, rip city. 
He peed the tank, boys. You hate to see it. Any moppers in chat? And he builds the bathroom immediately after he pees the ground. Wait, what the heck? Wait, what the heck is this? Did that fall down? How did this rock get here? That fell down, right? I'm not crazy. <laughs> I'm so confused, dude. Where did this rock come from? Dude, I'm so confused, man. Like, actually. Where did that rock come from, dude? Crush rock falls, extend maybe. Oh, so, it, okay. Napolini says it's kind of like that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Alright, we don't actually have a farmer. So we're going to make Ada farm. If she's not ranching or tithing, she's going to be farming. Let's actually be a little bit higher priority. She's getting stressed, so maybe we might remove the uh, farming skill from her. It's another trap. It's basically regolith, right? Alright, so... I am going to come out here and delete the CO2. <laughs> I'm going to build a tile on top of the CO2 so I could crush it. I don't want to deal with it. Just like how we crushed it on this side. We could remove it now. So, there's this. These three bubbles. These are actually fine. Alright, we're going to redo the bathrooms really quick. That's going to go there. That's going to go there. And then we've got to remove the... Actually, let's not put that yet. After we build these three, we'll remove this once it's about to be done. And then we reline everything up. Probably going to have to move the supercomputer as well. So the funny thing about this is that I actually have my algae in light and there's the efficiency boost <laughs> that's the one thing that we do have going on right now it's a little bit beneficial we do have the algae terrarium getting the efficiency boost because it's in light it's a that's a small thing that a lot of people don't know about but it's like not that major anyways got home from work was gonna catch up on one piece but this is too legit what's going on zero dragon Dude, man, One Piece is actually kind of hype. Did you read spoilers, man? This week's spoilers are actually kind of hype. That's the one thing I'll say. <laughs> if you read the manga, this week's spoilers are kind of hype, man. Aside from the rocket oxygen trick, how do you use rockets without suits? Uh, you would have to go, if you wouldn't do the normal way that's intended by the devs, what you would do is you would grab the gas cargo module. And you fill that up with oxygen. So you could hold 5,000 kilograms or 7,000 kilograms, depending on which one you use. And then you have that pipe into the space ferrer because you could actually do that with the uh, outlet ports. I don't have any of that research though, so I can't show you. But that would basically mean you would have uh, oxygen, 7,000 or 5,000 kilograms. And then that will last your dupes for like maybe 20 cycles, depending on how many dupes you have. So that's what you normally do. What happened? Oh, we're playing a new mod today. It's called the Bator mod. You might be able to notice that the world gen is not normal. Like we have something called radium in here. We got morbs jumping around in a weird organic biome. We got pokey shells next to the cool salt slush. We got the Abyss Bug and a Azur Nymph randomly in the wild. This is like not normal at all. <laughs> so we're doing a new playthrough and we're playing with a mod called the Baytor. Exclamation point Baytor in chat if you're curious to see what the mod entails. But it's a extreme map generation mod. It's probably the best way to describe it. Can I actually get Ada happy? I guess that's going to be the next thing we're going to gun for. Makes the most sense. 
Oh, everyone's just using bathrooms. Oh, Ada, you didn't wash your hands, dude? Ada, round two? You gotta wash your hands? You two pay. No food poisoning, man. Pay, dude. You can't sneak out, man, just because you think you can. There we go. Everyone wash their hands. No one's getting food poisoning. Yeah, I'm, I'm, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give him a bedroom and she's going to be Gucci. Same thing with the bathroom. That's what I'm trying to do down here. Make a proper bathroom. Because this is going to be where my doors are going to want to be. So that's what I'm trying to set up right now. Just trying to get like two more out. Just by making a bedroom and bathroom. But my dupes are struggling a little bit though. You know what I want? I need to get a deodorizer. I should put one here. And then on the side of my ba uh, bathrooms. Is there power? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so the bathrooms are going to be coming up soon. Stinky the Builder, he's trying to do his best. Ada needs a chill pill, she really does. Alright, let's remove both of these since these are okay now. Just got to get some water into it. Left side, left side, left side. And then one, two, one. This is going to be a higher priority, of course. And then we build a door here. And for the time being, we'll have an airflow tile. All right, construction here. So that we could seal up the room, make a proper room. Oh, it's we're not in water. Oh, no, it's grabbing it from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah the other one's fine. All right, so that's where we do this. If you are using the oxygen tank, then you need a small pump with a mechanical filter for the CO2. Ah, uh, yes, that is another thing that you might want to have. Otherwise, you start having to deal with pressurizing the room. But uh, yeah, that's another thing. You got to have a either a CO2 skimmer or a uh, double liquid tank so you could dump the polluted water somewhere else. But yeah, you got to deal with the seal too, though, if you use the uh, gas car. That's a good point to bring up, Lumbo. That's true, that's true. Sometimes you might want an algae terrarium, because it's easy to manage. But you do need to bring water, if that's the case. A lot of ways to deal with it, though. Alright, hopefully Ada gets the bathroom buff. Oh, she has popped eardrums. How? Where are we getting pot? Did she go? Oh, she went inside the natural gas box. No, she went inside the CO2 box then. Dude, she's stressed. Man, she is stressed right now, man. Need one more dig at the pitcher pump. That's true. Should be good now. I just didn't want anyone to jump over. What a mess. I only ask because using a dupe suit is annoying with struggling to breathe all the time. You're opening everything, but it's free. It's true. It'd be like that, man. That's a trade-off. <laughs> the trade-off is convenience. What are they picking up from here all the time? Is it the sandstone? You're just going inside for no reason. All right, Ada, what is your stress reaction? Oh, you're a vomiter? Oh, crap, son. Can I just give you the morale by just walking inside? She used, she washed her hands. And her morale is still 0 out of 1. Oh, because she didn't use the bathroom. She didn't get the latrine buff. The thing with vomiter is that it's not free, though. That's the problem. There is a common misconception that Vomiter is free water. That's not the case. Vomiter converts calories into pee water. <laughs> so it's not free. You, you, you have to spend the calories. You have to spend the calories. If you don't have the calories, they die. <laughs> that's, that's the thing with that. I see you guys over there, Banana Dude. 
and there it is. No, only vomiters like that. Ugly Crier is not like that. Watch the calories drop when they vomit. Did something just fall down? Oh, it just plummets. We lost 100k cows just like that. Alright, let's mop this up, friends. We don't want the vomit to go into our clean water tank, do we? Any moppers in chat? Oh, the mopper is the one that's vomiting. Go figure, right? That makes sense, actually. It does, right? It's good logic. It's good logic. Oh, there we go. Quinn. The real MVP. Making sure the pee water doesn't get into the water tank. Colony achievement earned. Oh, man. I wonder which one that was. Why not give her extra downtime to control her stress? That's probably a good idea. I should probably do that. I was hoping to get the rooms in time so that that just offsets her morale. Now that she's using the bathroom, she gets one for one and she loses low morale. And then if she uses the bathroom, she should be fine. Oh, she's still vomiting? Oh god, dude. Can't stop, won't stop. What's going on here? What's going on, Rambo? We're playing with a Chaos mod called Baytor that gives us really insane world jet. Oh, how did Shinebug get in here? Oh, that's rude. He's got to die. He's got to die. Okay, nice. Ada is fine. No longer stressing out. Hey, hey, hey. Rambo coming in with the 10 months on the 4 months three. Thank you so much. Enjoy the emotes. D20 does ad free viewing. Don't forget that legit stuff bad. Appreciate the support. It's killing germs, though. It needs to be in my bathroom, dude. That's where it needs to be. It's it's not supposed to be in the bedrooms. If it wants to kill germs. Oh, there was another one? Oh, man. Take him out, boys. He's got to go. Oh, the vomit water is actually clean. It's just a little bit acidic. It's kind of like lemon water. <laughs> it's kind of like lemon water. <laughs> That's kind of gross. Not going to lie. Do we have available dupes? How did the last colony finish? Uh, so the last run we were doing was the Super Classic version 2. And we completed the challenge. So I didn't have any need to continue the run anymore. We found the tear, we did the objective, so that was a uh, colony complete. And right now, yes, we do have free dupes. No one is taken yet, at least not in the current run. I need to grab the clay, man, I really do. Or I really want to. It was on the far edge, or was the rules redone? Uh, it was on the far edge, but I was able to reach the far edge with my rocket strat. I just had to build individual rockets for every point of interest. That was the only downside. So that meant I had to go through more steel, an extra two tons. But after I was able to build the new rockets, I was able to do it. So it just means that you have to do it soon enough so that you could wait for the rockets to get there. And then you have to build individual rockets to scout out each point of interest. Yeah, we finished it. Yep. We finished it. There was some redone rules, though. Uh, I'm changing the last or survive for 365 cycles to having that as a time limit. Because I'm not going to lie, I was nowhere even close to running out of water for oxygen. And we had extra 7 tons of oxygen in storage. And we had a lot of food still. I had 400 critters just running around. So we could have killed them at any point just to get the meat for food. So I didn't think it was going to be a problem. We wouldn't have need for, for labor anymore. So my dupes could be crushing sand all day every day with the minerals. And then we'd be able to feed the hatches that way. Alright, so is Ada still stressed? 4%. I think if we build this out, she gets another morale for the bedroom. She'll be fine. Banana Dude goes, why does Nightbot talk 
sometimes like a person. What if I told you Nightbot's alive? And that sometimes the maker of the bot sits on the bot chat and chats with us. Wouldn't that be crazy, dude? Entombed! Yes, this is Entombed. We're actually fine. You guys ever get that, uh... Get that, oh, your building's overheated, and you have a battery at the bottom right in the oil biome that's breaking due to the temperature? It's the same thing. We just have an Entombed building that's spawned there, but I can't do anything about it. Because I'm not actually close by. Exclamation point, Baytor. Thank you, Banana Dude. Finches, welcome on in. Same with you, Silence. Ch uh, Nightbot's using uh, chat GPT. I see you guys over there, man. Welcome on in. Hope you guys are doing well. And uh, we're going to be checking out the Baytor mod today. Let me know if you guys have any questions. We're going to try to do our best to survive. But for the gist of it, this is a extreme world gen map. Where, for the lack of better words, world gen is a lot different. So we're getting some crazy setups, like uh, weird compositions, temperature ranges are probably a little bit different, and uh, mixed resources. We're getting diggable lime like this, which is kind of insane. That's a lot of lime, 13 kilograms per tile. And then we get uh, cool elements too, like our teleporter is completely submerged in naphtha, which is kind of weird. No, no, we're just playing normal settings. This is my first time playing with the mod, so I just wanted to see the, the mod in action, if that makes sense. But because I never played with it before, I just wanted to get a uh, first time playthrough, which is what we're doing. All right, so I could get rid of the algae terrarium now, as that's consuming a little bit of CO2. Who would you like to take, Mr. Rambo? We got Pay, Stinky Quinn, and Ada. Who would you like to take? We'll try to make sure you don't die, but there's no guarantees. I'm sorry about that, man. <laughs> no guarantees that he's gonna live, but we'll try to do our best. You're gonna take Quinn? We got you, man. All right, Rambo. Rambo was in. This Rambo Part 6's favorite genre of music is Festive Power Ballad. I don't even know what type of music that is, man. Stinky is the best. Can I take Stinky? Immediately get Scoop up. We got you over there, Susumu. How does everyone say Ada? Is it Ada? Am I saying it wrong? <laughs> Am I saying the name wrong? Oh, we got more. All right, Xenosai is next. Xenosai, who would you like to take? We got Pei and I say Ada. Oh no. What did you want, Sylvester? Yeah, it's a hard A. Soft A would be two Ds. Ada, Ada. And then Alinda says, Pat, wait, what? So let me, let me know how you guys are going to work that out. Let me know. Let me know. All right. So this is warm, but I'm not too worried about it anymore. So we could actually start working on this. Get the ladder down. Insulate going down now. I want to keep going up. So I actually should mine this out. This is not going to fall. And then we'll start bopping the CO2 on that side. I don't think you could say it wrong. I feel like... It's up to the person. <laughs> I really don't know, though, man. Oh, you want the blue hair one? Pay. Okay, I'll take Ada then. Okay, Xenosai being nice. Taking Ada, that's stressed out, hypothermia. It's also sopping wet, hungry, and tired. Taking the sacrifices. Xenosai coming in. And then we have... A Linden. Sylvester. Welcome on in, you guys. Welcome to the Bait War Colony. Data, data. I've heard it. I've heard it uh, said in both ways, actually. Yeah, but when you check out the data, you mean the data? Yeah, it's same thing. <laughs> I've heard it said both ways. 
And these are IT people saying it. At least when I used to work at the office job. We would say the word data and data often because it's like we reference the uh, program we use. ERP system. Data, data, yeah. Potato, potato. Tomato, tomato. Right? It's like, is, is it that big of a deal? I don't know. I don't know if I'm saying it wrong, though. But if I am, please correct me, you guys. <laughs> I hate to be saying things wrong, man. You know what it is. Oh, we do have more clay. All right, so that means more meal wood. I can only say data because I grew up on Star Trek. Ah, the next generation. Honestly, I'm glad it's not like GIF and JIF. <laughs> I see you over there, Xenosai. Is it caramel or is it caramel? <laughs> That's another one, man. Is it caramel or is it caramel? Americans' disgusting pronunciation. Probably get it wrong every time. You're Australian. That's, that's, that's cool, man. We speak it. I mean, I, mean I, I guess at that point, there is regionality. That is the thing. That's true. All right. I think for proper bathrooms, grab that next and then water reservoirs. Aluminum. Aluminum. <laughs> the pronunciations do get a little bit wild because of that. That's true. All right, we're working on this, of course. Line up all the things. Hopefully, we don't have any idleness. We need to take care of this. We could probably keep pumping a little bit of CO2 right now because we can. I want to pay attention to this so we don't over pump. Want to pressurize the map as well. It's the taste that matters. I see over there. Well, the creator of the GIF is wrong. Hey, man. <laughs> what, what Did he mean that when he said that? Or was he trolling, man? Let's be real here. Who was correct? Was he trolling? I want to hope that he was trolling, man. Gif, the hard off. You say sieve like Steve, where I say sieve like shiv. Oh, that's another thing. Sieve and sieve. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. Hey, man, that's, that's just how I'm used to saying it, man. But no one has ever... I mean, that actually... No, I lied. There, there is some people in the chat that has actually brought that up before. Yeah, sieve and sieve. I say sieve like seething. Oh man, he's so angry. He's seething mad. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm saying it wrong though. Q is wrong. Language discussions in chat, man. Linguistics. Oh, this cracked open the biome? Oh, I didn't even realize that. Luckily for us, it was not that big of a deal. We just got some oxygen leak in. If I remember correctly, it should have been... Aluminum? Alum... Aluminum? But it's not used by anyone. How do you spell Q but pronounce it Q? I don't know, man. How do you spell subtle but don't say the B? Yo, man, English is hard, dude. That's all I'm going to say. English is tough. <laughs> Answer. The word answer. 
You would never know there was a W in it. Yeah, slaughter, laughter, said so differently. That's true. Dude, that's that's the English language in the nutshell, dude. We'll have we'll have like three different words that are sounding exactly the same with three different meanings. There, there, and there. And then there's 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 even worse. Like you get into American English slang, right? It gets even worse. Oh man, that guy, he's the shit. Whereas the shit means he is, you know, the, the cream of the crop. He's, he's dope. But that guy is shitty means he's a bad person. <laughs> and then you start throwing other stuff with that, man. It gets even worse. You go, oh, man, that guy is bat shit. That means he's crazy as F, like psychopathic. And then it's like, oh, that guy likes to bullshit. He lies a lot. And then it's it's it's, just, it's crazy, man. You started adding like little things to that, and it's it's I don't know, man. English language don't make sense. I just kind of speak it, hoping that uh, if I say something wrong, no one calls me out on it. That's all I'm kind of living by. You gotta make sure no one calls me out, and I'm cool. Yo, man, it'd be like that sometimes, but it's crazy. What mod? Something crazy. Oh. Uh, Slayer! Exclamation point, Bator, if you want to check it out. But uh, it is a extreme world generation uh, on a very specific map. So, lack of better words, is custom. Uh, custom uh, map generation. Let's not start getting into some deeper topics that is, you know. Let, let's let's try to not get to uh, anything that's too controversial, you guys. But yo, Slayer, thank you so much for the 15 months. Appreciate the support, man. Also, hope you're doing well. So, define crazy generation. Uh, how do I say this? Look at this. Diggable lime. This is lime. This is normally found on the water asteroid. Uh, we have our teleporter completely submerged in liquid naphtha. We have individual tiles right here of 9 kilograms of water. Uh, we have elements that are not in the game, like radium. It's, 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 um, it's, it's, you, I don't know how to explain it, man. It's just very, very different. <laughs> it's very different. In this game, they have something called gas bombs that is meant to destroy you. So you'd be able to, uh, you know, unleash that and immediately suffocate and lose the game. <laughs> right? So it's, it's, it's wild map generation. Yeah, there's a buried ration box. Yep. It's uh, pretty crazy like that. All right, all right. Alright, so let's get back into the game. 